This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. All right, so Fat Trell is home, okay? And um, he has been doing his interviews and everything, but Wale just did an interview with Nori, right? And they were talking about Fat Trell being home. Nori was like, oh, yeah, Fat Trell's real. I've seen him shoot at somebody in Harlem. And I was like, what? Isn't this kind of like the thing that Capone... Capone and Nori had a problem with Prodigy's book because it was talking too much about stuff, right? Prodigy was telling his life story in a book, right? Prodigy had crossed over to the media world. Love Prodigy, you know, RIP, right? But Nori had a big problem with it, and so did Capone. And they went on, this is when Capone, uh, this is when Nori was Nori that couldn't rap anymore, Nori. You know, the, he went through a period of 10 years where um, it, that's why I was so perplexed yesterday when I saw him making fun of rappers that are trying different things and can't win. And I was like, wow, that's that's some real weirdo stuff. Um, because he went through 10 years of basically bumming it, you know, which is fine. I'm glad he I'm glad he made it, you know, because we all go through periods in our life where you got to switch it up. And he should know that, you know? He, if anyone, I thought would understand that. Um, but it makes sense. You know, Dame Dash called him out for not sharing the plug. And Joe, he should call out Joe Budden for not sharing the plug. So, you know, people are very sharing until it comes to sharing their own plugs and, sh you know, stuff like that. When Dame Dash signed both of them and gave them money. Anyways. Nori said that, and Wale was like, whoa, allegedly. Like, was not getting, he just came home. Like, you shouldn't talk about stuff like that unless it's public. Like, unless he got arrested for it or something. You don't just say, talk about something that he was never convicted of, you know? Just say he, he, he's always got a gun on him because he gets convicted for guns all the time, you know? Uh, probably, I'm, I hope he doesn't anymore, but, you know, he, he, he was living that life before. That's one way to say it. Prodigy uh, had to respond to Nori at one point because I guess Nori was upset about a story where Nori got jumped. I think everybody got jumped at one point back in the day. If you were caught without a crew, you could have gotten jumped because New York was like territorial. You know, it was like Queens, even parts of Queens. You know, you have people in certain parts of Queens couldn't go to Far Rockaway. You know, it was just, it was just like there was just beef in New York like that. Um, then this is, you know, Prodigy responding to that. And they did eventually make up. <clears throat> 1090 Jake, banned from Tallahassee. We talked about this yesterday, right? I'm going to tell you something, man. Tallahassee's a nice city. It's the capital of Florida. Surprisingly, you think Tampa is. But, you know, that's where T-Pain, I think, is from and a bunch of other people. I think Little Duval is from Duval County and near there. And it's just like, bro... Banning someone from Tallahassee isn't that big a deal. It's a great city. I'm sure there's great people there. I've been there once before. Great city. But everyone's going to Miami. If you travel into to, to Florida, you're going to Miami. You're going to Pensacola. Um, you're you're going to somewhere on the coast, okay? You know, somewhere around there. There's tons of places. You're you're not going to Tallahassee. Tallahassee's not like yo. I gotta go there. Another one is Jacksonville. A lot of people aren't going there. That's where a lot of these newer rappers are from, and Boston Richie's from Tallahassee, I think. <clears throat> and, bro, nobody cares about being banned from there. I'm sorry, you know? You have a beautiful city, but it's not the destination for people that don't live in Florida, you know? So 1090 Jake probably doesn't care. <laughs> Uh, Jay-Z closes a multi-billion dollar deal with Bacardi. He settles. Um, they were having a big problem. Jay-Z said the books weren't open. He doesn't even know how much he made or what, what what's fair and what's not. They weren't opening the books for him. So he was like, you know what? Let me buy my Duce back from you, you know, buy your stake out. I think they, Jay-Z had raised $1.5 billion with a bunch of people, right? To, I mean, you know, we you, you know how that works, right? Like a bunch of people will get together and then you know buy the brand back, and then they'll go sell it somewhere else, or they'll build it up more and sell it somewhere else, right? 
Because Jay Z could buy it all, but that's just not. It's not the smartest thing to do in business. You don't want to use all your personal money. You want to use the funds money. Yeah, I, I think he has Marcy Capital or something. Anyways, growing Deuce, Deuce over the past decade, from an idea to the fast selling spirits industry, has been bl a blessing. Jay Z said. Um, the agreement is billed as marketing launch of chapter of Duce, blah, blah, blah. Jay-Z, so let's see, acquiring a majority. So the agreement builds a marketing chapter of Duce and Bacardi, acquiring a majority interest in the multi-brand, multi-million dollar brand, while Jay-Z will also retain a significant ownership stake. So he's still involved in it. Um... As far as preceding battle, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. They, they settled the agreement. And they purchased a majority stake in Jay's stake. So they bought more back from Jay, right? And however, Jay was previously confirmed to own 50% while Bacardi owned the other 50. Thus, a majority stake would mean at least 26% of Jay's 50 percent so they probably bought out you know a quarter so if they were if they were willing to offer 1.5 billion dollars for you know jay-z probably got another 750 million and he retains um oh someone said evaluation of sc's liquor bacardi share at 2.5 billion so that means they probably gave him uh one point something billion dollars to acquire half of his stake he's still in it right and it's still worth another billion dollars i mean jay-z is playing the spirits game like a professional okay because you know he sold his champagne to moet for a ton of money you know like it's just you know it, it, this is one of the the brands you want to be in you want to it's so much better than music um i used to when I was doing videos, I used to get checks from spirit brands to put them in, you know, videos. Man, those checks are crazy. I mean, you know, they add up, you know, a couple thousand here and every every video, you know, you, you, you're making like six figures on just sponsorships. They have so much money because um, think about it. You're always buying that over. It's not like a CD where you buy it or a song and you buy it and that's that, right? That's why people love Spotify and everything. You know, these brands love Spotify because, you know, it's a monthly subscription. It keeps you buying music every month, you know? <clears throat> but, um, you know, it's one of those, it's a, it's, it's something that you, ha you need all the time. It's like deodorant, you know, liquor, you know, you're going to buy it every month, you know, if you're going to celebrate with people. So it's a great thing to be in because you, you have a, you acquire a loyal customer that's coming to you 10 times a year sometimes, you know? Even more than that for an alcoholic. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's about it, man. I hope you guys are having a great day. That'll start the day off. Sorry to have such a long video, but um, Jay-Z just made it. You know, it's almost like when you get up to Jay-Z's level or something or, you know, to that level... You just can't help but make money. <laughs> you just can't help it. It falls, and you know, it's just little small moves equate to huge moves. It's Jordan Kelly, JT News. I appreciate you guys. And I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.